Welcome to another random video. Uh, today I'm going to help you determine if your trigger is bad on your Ryobi that you've had and you love and all of a sudden it doesn't have the power it used to. And you've tried different batteries and everything looks good, but uh, when you pull the trigger, it goes from the real high pitch power to this. First, you're gonna need a uh, number 15 Torx screw, and you're gonna wanna magnetize it to help you pull the screws out, and there's 10 of them. I've already taken them all out, they're right here, and let's pull it apart. All right, so it's pretty simple. Uh, uh, power goes into the switch. It goes to a, a, a one-way valve called a diode and then comes out and goes straight to the motor. Uh, pretty simple. So what we can do is really simply check the output of the 18 volt battery for what the trigger's doing. So right here are the two connections. Get you a multimeter or a multimeter, whichever side of the planet you're from. Set it on uh, DC volts. It's kind of convenient. You can hook your battery straight up. You can check the battery of voltage if you want, but this one's already 18. Get try to get up in there. This one's already got a bad spot on the wire, so I'll just hook to it. getting 14 I'm blowing stuff off my table so I'm getting 14 so I went ahead and bought a new uh, a new plug I got from Amazon of all places and we're gonna try it out You want to try to get at least as much of the uh, wire as you can keep, so I can cut it right at the crimp. And you can uh, plug it in before you wire it all up or run it through the, the ports and just make sure you uh, get your positive and negative terminals right when you get it in there. It goes in this slot and don't, don't accidentally flip it around. So we're going to hook it up here. Oh and by the way I did make an attempt to spray uh, some some electronic motor cleaner in here and 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 work it and it doesn't seem to be uh, doing any good so we'll bust that apart and take a look inside all right so I got it put back together pretty much what was difficult is this is a really hard turn here so I had to uh, take my take my pliers and easily and slowly bend it in a hard 90 and then I put the slack up in this biggest area up here and it just took a little bit of time and and uh, gently manipulating the wires to get them to go into place and if you notice the uh, you stick you want to stack them too on this on the sides that they're on uh, left and right I'll call it top and bottom that way it doesn't overlap and give you more problems but uh, it took me about five minutes to kind of get it all and this wire is pretty tight it's a nickel wire at least they built it well double check make sure that the voltage is maxed out hopefully it's uh 
18. Get this in here. That was better than 14. 17 4. And when you're putting it together, just make sure you're getting it into uh, that little slot right there. That's where you want it. And all the screws are the same, luckily. So we did a good job there manufacturing it. All right. Here, let's pull this apart. Well, wasn't expecting all that. Little heat sink there. I could have slid that off if I'd known how to do that. Now you can see here where it appears. I need to get my, my, my real glasses on so I can really see it. It looks like that's where it, it it's got some, looks like it's Get the focus there. Looks like it's melted right there. It had really bad. Sorry, I'm bumping the camera with my glasses. Yeah, you can see it's melted right there. So something, it's just probably a poor design or just a bad manufactured part. I'll find out with that next trigger. Zoom in. Anyway, trigger is hard to see what I'm doing and film. Uh, so here's the here's where the the trigger slides on these these bus bars, and it may have just gotten may have just got dirty. It looks clean. It's got a nice amount of dielectric grease on it oh well there you go hope you enjoyed it like and subscribe all that stuff have a good day